if not Angel, John, John Wilson. Yes. Paul Simpson. Yeah. Edward Smith. Yes. John Smith. Yes. Crystal. Yes. Wilson um, You also have the uh, uh, department head reports. Any uh, questions for them? Uh, Y'all might take notice that uh, two of our back here in the night <laughs> and it's really nothing that they've done on city business i promise <laughs> we're not that tough Rich, welcome back uh, so, and uh, uh -huh. richard your uh, your head is slowly growing on <laughs> maybe <laughs> I look like you've been pushing it out. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I ain't out punch her. I got two good arms. <laughs> <laughs> you get all the uh, water makers done, even the big ones? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're very glad to have uh, have y'all here. Uh, before we start uh, our business, anybody want to make comments to the board? Mary, I would like to I'd like to add one uh, event that we got that was just scheduled today. Sure. Uh, we're going to have a gospel singing down at the uh, farmers market on October the 26th. It'll be from five o'clock to eight o'clock that evening. Uh, we had I had a group to call me. It's called the Masters Three today, and he's bringing a couple other groups with him, and we're going to just set up down there and let them. Um, we'll have a confession stand and you know let them sing and, and just have something. For everybody to come out to. Uh, we are. We're, we're getting together. We're gonna make some signs and do. We're gonna. We're gonna promote it. Okay. Good. 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 Well, all right. We'll get right into the business of the night. The first uh, item of old business, and the only one, is the second reading of an ordinance amending the text of the Selmer Municipal Zoning Ordinance, Chapter 12, Provision Governing Sign. I think. Uh, I don't know what it is. This is just the. Uh, the uh, pole sign. Pole sign. Yeah, make it bigger so we go we yeah. pretty restricted. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll need a motion. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Got a motion. Second. Got a second. Any discussion? And if you'll call the roll. John Yes. Paul Yes. Yes. Uh, moving on to new business, uh, first item is the approval of parade permit for the Parks and Rec Department for the Veterans Day Parade. And uh, I, I gave y'all a copy of that where it's been signed off by Neil and Nancy and myself. So moved. You got a motion? Second. You got a second? Any discussion? If not, Ann, would you call the roll, please? John and the last item is uh, that we tabled the last time is the approval of the independent insurance consultant Tim Fennell as recommended by Terry Abernathy, city attorney. Uh, Terry, unfortunately, is not here tonight. He's definitely in town. And he tells us that it's been scheduled uh, a year in advance. So you know Abernathy, you'll have to take him at his word. But uh, I make a motion that at this time, uh, we have a refresh on his plan. Well, that's fine. After I get through this, we'll, that's we'll be I'll be glad right, we'll do it after. Yeah, you yeah. I just wanted to read. Uh, Terry sent a uh, an email to all of us yesterday, um, and this is um, regarding the uh, independent consultants. You probably well know. You followed the paper. Uh, the board is kind of split on insurance, and what we're trying to uh, do is find a uh, an unbiased independent uh, consultant <clears throat> to look at both plans and just give us his opinion or his critique of the whole thing. Um, uh, the benefits for all of them, for the employees, are exactly the same. Uh, I think this becomes a matter of our stewardship to the uh, taxpayers of Selmer. Uh, if there's opportunities to provide the same benefits to our employees, while saving money for the taxpayers to sell them, I think we have it as our fiduciary uh, duties to look at that. And that's kind of where the uh, the rub comes. But anyway, uh, Mayor and Board of Alderman, first of all, I apologize for letting this slip up on me. And, okay. Which has resulted in this last minute communication. I will not be in attendance at the board meeting because I will be leaving tomorrow morning for a long ago planned hunting trip to Canada. And even though I am somewhat embarrassed by missing two meetings in a row, this is just the way the schedule worked out. In any event, through reading the newspaper, 
I learned that any board action concerning the gentleman that I recommended as an independent insurance company consultant was tabled, apparently pending your receipt of additional names. By way of explanation, even though I think it is correct that I told you that I would bring you a list of names when I was able to learn of the gentleman that I recommended, and when I was able to have a telephone conversation with him, I was convinced and remain convinced that there could simply be no better selection for the task to be performed, and that remains my position. I think it would be an absolute waste of my time to search for other names, and if there remains a strong desire to have more than one name in front of you, then pretty much any one of you would be able, as able as I am, to learn the names of professionals in the insurance industry. Regardless of words used, I think everyone would agree that what we were trying to accomplish is to get a competent and qualified independent consultant to review and then offer an opinion or critique of the proposals on the table. And I cannot imagine that you will ever find anyone more qualified and willing to do the job than Mr. Fennell. Also couched in attorney-client privilege, I can assure you that I would, I would never even I would have never even suggested this process had I known that this was going to be a contentious political issue. And I can also assure you that the political side of this is something that I will not be involved in and I hope you will respect my position in this regard. I've always been very conscious of staying out of city hall politics while I've served as a city attorney. And that is what I am presently doing and again your understanding and respect of my position is very much appreciated. Carry on. So, now, Rich, if you want to uh, give us a review, that's fine. Oh, I'd like to talk to you for just a second. <clears throat> One of the things I want to do first is talk about our current plan that we have, because there's been several misstatements about the current plan, and I just wanted to clear those up. First of all, we do not have a $2,000 deductible. City employees do not have a $2,000 deductible. It's $1,500 deductible. We have a maximum $2,000 out of pocket, which is $250 less than it was last year. We have a better drug card than we had last year. We have better chiropractic coverage than we had last year. The plan is much better in almost every regard than it was last year. Now, I know that our plan that we put you have now versus last year is not exactly what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the self-funded plan. And people have varying and different opinions on the self-funded plan out of Missouri, and, and I have mine, okay? And I know that some people know some things about it, but what you do not know is, is that I was asked to be the representative, the agent, for the self funded plan out of Missouri. And I appreciated that. That was very nice to be asked to do that. I met with Mr. Howard Danzy for several hours. Met with him again here at a work session for several hours. Reviewed all of his material, had other people review his material, and I said that I could not endorse this plan. Now, the reason I couldn't endorse this plan is because I couldn't feel comfortable having this plan for my family, for my employees, my friends, and certainly for the city of Selma. Now, again, people have different opinions on that, and that's fine. There's no problem with that, but let me give some of the reasons why I feel like that the plan would not work for the city of Selma. The statement was just made that you save X amount of dollars for the same benefits. It's not true. It's simply not true. And here's how it's not true. Does anybody here on the board know what the 12-12 contract is? I do. Can you explain it? Uh, basically, it's uh, uh, the benefits paid uh, monthly, 12-12, and they also have like a 12-15 if you, if you wanted to go with because of the way the benefits are paid. So on the 12 plan that was quoted, and that's what the figures have been tossed out, what would happen if, God forbid, somebody got really, really sick in the last month, and that claim didn't get processed and it went over into the next year, what would happen to do to pay that? It well, was 5000 the, 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 the option that we have there is that was coming up is we could move it to a 1215 plan. You can, and that's a good idea. That would be a good idea. Now, Blue Cross Blue Shield is on the limit here. Let, let, me, let me explain what the plan is, okay? Simply stated, if all claims are not processed and paid in 12 months, and it goes over to the next two or three or four or five or six months or a year, which happens because there's appeals. Things like that happen. Guess who's on the hook for that? If it's 5,000, 50,000, 500,000, who's on the hook for it is the taxpayer of the city of Selma. Now, you can do a 12, 15 plan. Blue Cross Blue Shield is unlimited. But for three months, okay, how important is that? I'll tell you how important this guy thinks it is from Missouri. For three months, he's going to charge you an additional $72,000 for three additional months. You're still not close to where you are, Blue Cross Blue Shield. 
The now of those savings, gone. It's like magic. Seventy-two thousand dollars. That's that's in his his quote. Okay. But that's not the worst of it. Plus the land you live on this plan is quote. And the quote on for employees, if somebody gets sick, what's the max you're going to pay out? What, how, what's the max amount of coverage you have? Uh, we are capped at 341. That's and premium and... Uh, I'm just talking about the coverage that, that's available would be paid out for if somebody got sick. Two million dollars. Uh, we're covered up to... Uh, Two million dollars. That's, that's what it is. And that sounds like a lot of money. It is a lot of money. It's a lot of money to somebody like me. Two million dollars is a lot of money. Unless you need three million dollars in coverage. And then it's not so much money. Just a few counties over, there's a person who had a claim over $3 million in a calendar year. Now, had that claim, God forbid, happened to the city of Summer to an employee, who would pay that claim? You would. You would. The taxpayers, I would. That's who would pay it. Blue Cross Blue Shields is unlimited. If it's $5 million, it's going to be covered. We're not talking about the same coverages. If we were talking about the same coverages, you know, Maybe you might want to go someplace different, and, and you might still want to. Everybody has opinions, but I think the facts need to be out there. You know, the devil's in the details on these plans. It always is. These plans are easy to get into and hard to get out of, okay? And if you don't understand what you're looking at, and you don't understand these plans, and you're willing to listen to someone who will tell you what you want to hear, it's easy to make a big mistake for a small town like Southern Tennessee. So, now you've lost $72,000 in savings. You know your coverage, your annual limit is not close to what it was when we crossed the shield. Is it a good thing to change? That's up to you guys. I'm, I'm not an alderman. I don't get to vote. I'm a professional insurance agent that has 26 years of experience. I'm giving you my honest opinion. You don't have to agree with me. You can do whatever you want to do. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, and that's what you're charged to do. Uh, if you compare plan to plan, the savings aren't there and the coverage aren't there. Uh, now, let me say this. All self-funded plans aren't bad. If you're big enough, city of Jackson got 648 employees. You're big enough to be self-funded. Guess who they're self-funded with? Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. Guess what network they moved from? PHCS, which is networks being proposed to us. Now, why is that important? Because Blue Cross Blue Shield has 20% better savings on average the PHCS, the network that's being uh, proposed. Okay, so what happens on that? This guy's telling you, this insurance agent from Missouri, is telling you that you can pay 20% more on a claim, but he's going to charge you less on insurance. Now, does that make fifth grade comedy math sense to anybody in here? Is that sustainable? If it is, find me up today, but that's not going to work. But in this folder, and I'll be glad to pass it around, look at it, do what you want to with it, you would take it, pass it down. I've got several letters. Sydney Insurance Company is not Blue Cross Blue Shield. They could care less if Blue Cross Blue Shield keeps this business. But they do write stuff on the plan, just like Blue Cross Blue Shield. They look at this. They said, that's not what some would go. It's not a good, good idea for some to go. They write stuff on the plans, and you're saying it's not good. Aetna says the same thing. The consultant from the city of Jackson got a letter in there, the same thing. The local independent agents that live here, work here, pay taxes here, vote here, they say they've looked at this plan. It's not the way to proceed to go. And that's not the local local agents that work for me. As a matter of fact, for my competitors, former aldermen who have 30 years experience look at this plan. They say it's not a good plan for the city of Summer. Other agents in West Tennessee that run other cities in West Tennessee have looked at this plan. They say it's not good for the city of Summer. And again, I'm not an alderman. I don't get the vote. And after all the facts that I told you, your conscience tells you that this is what's good. On record, not vote for it. That's your right to do it. That, uh, Rich, yeah. and, and I appreciate uh, I appreciate you uh, coming tonight for voting those things out. That's great. Um, you just commit to and you have to vote. Okay. And on the other hand, you agree with me and all those guys that wrote that that did not get compensated one penny for it. Okay. That the Blue Cross Blue Shield plan is by far the best plan. And I ask you respectfully, as a board, to reaffirm the vote that you've already made once in July. Keep the plan you got just as it is until August when it reviews. Then you can look at it again. Then you can have a million consultants come and look at it. But, you know, I don't really think that this process of quoting over and over and over spared anybody. Joy Maynard is the insurance agent. Would you feel right quoting every single month? No. I, I don't. 
I mean, but again, I respect your decision. You guys, you must want to. Those are the facts. You must want to. All right. We are going to make a motion. Yeah. Now, that may be subject to spend a day, or a night, or. Whatever. We have made a motion to extend our contract. So you got the contract right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. what would happen uh, if uh, we had a, a big claim in airplane right now? And then they took it over. We we'll still be covered by you. covered by Blue Cross Blue Shield Tennessee. If they take it over, then you have to worry about their coverage just when you get that. As soon as they take it over. You're on, you're on the plan that I talked about and the coverage that I talked about. But until it's, it's changed, you have a plan. That's correct. And you've had that plan how long? For the city itself? Three years. Three years. And by the way, I'm very thankful for it. I don't take any of this stuff uh, lightly. I appreciate every customer that I've got. Everybody has a choice to make. You know what I mean? a lot of my customers. I write some of these. That's just how it works. But we're friendly competitors, and I think we all want to do what's best for the city center. I think all of you do too. But I think you need to make an informed decision. And like I said, it's something that's easy to get into, hard to get out of. If you don't know what you're looking for, you can make a big mistake. We're a pretty big customer. Yeah, we're a pretty big customer. Yeah, we're a pretty big customer. Pretty big customer? You're not the biggest customer I've got, but you're a big customer, yeah. Yeah, but there's no small customers. Good answer. Yeah, in the three years that you've had it, have all them employees had any right, big rights in the time? There's that wasn't solved. With every group I've got, and I've got several, there's always going to be some issues, but there's none that's not been resolved. How have been resolved? As far as I know. And, and you've had nobody complying against you with insurance conditioning? As far as I know, never. In 26 years. Not going to move. Thank you. Richie, thank you. Uh, and certainly, uh, you, uh, I think it's very good uh, point out that you did. Obviously, we could bring somebody in on the other side. That's the reason and, I talked to uh, people look at But as far as the town itself is concerned, you do have our insurance right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the only thing that we wanted to do, because if what you've said here tonight, I'm sure this uh, Tim Fennell or whatever his name is, would just confirm what you're doing. And I think it just confirms for the board. And that's all we were asking, is just to have a look at it, because we you know we've got a couple of others since then. But no, you've got the insurance, the employees are covered, absolutely, and you've done a great job for us, and, and I will have to say that, you know, uh, I don't know that we've not been able to resolve any issue that's come up. Uh, so no, you've been a very good, and that's not what we're doing. I think what we're trying to do is just, okay, let's just confirm that with an independent, unbiased, uh, uh, let, me let me make one comment. Would you want your house insured with somebody in Missouri, an agent where you'd never see him or contact him, or your house insured with somebody like that? We have got a local agent. Richie has got a perfect record. No blemishes nowhere. Everybody in town knows him. All other insurance agencies and agencies in town respect him. I have talked to several of them and they recommend him strongly. And here we're talking about going to a company we know nothing about for the house. With an agent in Missouri, we don't even have a local agent nowhere. We've got two or three outstanding claims right now that are going to be pretty large claims. Here we are talking about changing in the middle of the spring. This don't make any sense to me at all. And the mayor basically said, if we get this consultant, he's going to reaffirm what Richard just said. Why well, pay him $250 an hour to do some work that we don't need? We've already made a decision. I think we need to say the decision we've made. Well, the decision's cast. I mean, we're with Ricky right now, uh, Edward, for sure. I mean, it'll die yeah. right there. Are you going to and do I don't think any of us here were telling you to change. We're not proposing a change. I think that's what you've been saying for six months. We've been, we've I, been I, I disagree, I disagree Alderman. I, I, no one said that at all. We, we just asked the third party to look at it. When no one said make a change whatsoever, I, I think the world of Richie, I think he's got a good plan. We just, when this came up, we put it on the table. We discussed it thoroughly, and when uh, Abernathy came forth and recommended this individual, we thought we might take a look at it, and that's all we were asking is just to explore 
the territory. That's it. I saw, I, I want to make one comment on what you just said. Yeah, I think you misspoke. Mr. Abernathy never came before us and recommended this individual. We asked Mr. Abernathy to find the he consultant. Did, but he didn't recommend it. He did it in this type of, but he never came before us and recommended it. Well, it's not in person at all. Yeah, I think he has all He didn't give us a list as well. Emails, he he, he, he has one guy. Uh, are you, you going to take any action on this? The table of motion and kind of time now. Uh, it's on the table. Well, it's it's open for discussion still, I believe. Um, we we were just asking to discuss this. Um, I appreciate I appreciate you very much. I think you've done an outstanding job. I, I I don't I certainly don't want to be the guy that everybody points the finger at that says he messed up our insurance. Okay. I don't want to be that guy whatsoever. Um, I do want to be the guy to explore some options for the community and the taxpayers, and we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. If the independent agent says, you know, you're the guy, I'm your man, I'm on board 150%, okay? Um, we were just looking at, we, we've heard about this, and we haven't done due diligence to explore anything. I, you're, our, you're our representative. You sell this, this policy is how much a year? The three hundred three hundred something thousand dollars, yeah, and, and it goes up to four hundred and. But it depends on the use of the right? right. But, and then yeah. that, that's a that's a pretty good chunk of change right yeah. here. Let, let, me, let me say one thing. You know, I appreciate what you said. I really do. I, it makes me feel good that you said that, and I appreciate that. Here's my problem. Okay. First of all, Terry Abernathy is a friend of mine and a client of mine. I have no problem, Terry Abernathy. Okay. I think Terry Abernathy said the same thing about me. Here's my issue. We're doing this three or four months in. This, this bid was, was bid and done in August. If y'all want to look at it again in August, bring in 200 consultants. As long as you include me, I'm fine with it. You know, you know, I, think, I think we've been working on trying to look at this and explore this since then. Exactly, since okay. February. And that's yeah. the thing. If we put this from tough. February to August and we made a vote in August, what in the world six months now is going to change? You got to do what you want to. I've given you my opinion for what it's worth. It's just, you know, so I think. Okay, if we can't do anything until next August, why are we going to spend any money now? Why are we waiting until next August to do it? When we can change it, why don't we wait until next year uh, and, and see what he says? I'm not, why don't I do it right now? I'm not, not on board with Richie. I, 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 I understand that, but. But let me tell you one last thing, and I promise I'll be finished unless somebody asks me a question. And this something I said, I want to follow it up. Up just, until just a few weeks ago, I don't know about now, but just a few weeks ago, I didn't know. The guy from St. Louis that you're talking about has one group in the entire state of Tennessee. One group. You can point a finger in every direction and find an HRA plan, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and they're happy. If you really want to make a change, somebody's got one group in the state of Tennessee, next year he may have 100. And if he does, you've got a lot more people to talk to in Tennessee that you can ask questions about. We, uh, I, th I just think you should consider I, I'm, I'm not I did a lot of uh, I did a lot of talking, and you're right, it's at Union City, but I did a lot of talking to his customers, and there are several. Of them. I thought they were talking to some of them. Uh, and again, I, all we're trying to clarify is <coughs> just an unbiased, independent, third party to look at us. And just tell them. That's all we're asking for. Well, like Paul, you've got yeah. seven right there in front of you. Like Paul said, we've already voted. We're playing in. I'm going to get you some the other way. I mean, we don't have to go far. Are we discussing it now? Hey, <coughs> in July, in July the 9th meeting, a motion to John Smith to defend the contract for Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. The Richard Bodder for choosing an 80 20 option one plan, excluding the first $1,250 discussed. Motion the second by Paul Simpson. All five voted yes. Motion carried. I have a motion at this time. I make a motion to reaffirm that order number 625, passed at the July the 9th, 2013, regular meeting to send a contract for Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee to Richard Bodder for. Choosing the 80-20 option one plan is put in the first for $150. I make that motion. We've got the contract now. Why do we need a motion? Lisa? What are you fussing about then? I don't understand it. Now, I may, I may be dumb. 
I don't understand why you're pushing it right now. If, if we'll replay the tapes that we set down here in the workshop meetings and said that if we could look at an alternative motion that me. would save the taxpayers money, that's what we're talking about. We have a motion and second, and you can discuss it now. Yes, sir. We're, just, we're sitting here arguing, and we're not changing the insurance. Richie's got the insurance. Yeah. We're not going to change that. I've got no objection if you want to compare, get an individual, independent agent, just to compare you know, the plan we got with some self-funded plan. Whatever it comes up with, I'm not changing anything, but if you want to look at it and see, there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't see anything wrong with that. It's not saying we're going to change anything. We're not. We've got it to next year. I mean, you, you can compare this plan and that plan and get somebody unbiased to look at both of them, tell us the benefits and the disadvantages of this one and, and the benefits and disadvantages of that one, and then that's something we can look at next year. We'll have that there and we won't have to spend time next year if it comes up then. I agree. My motion was just to reaffirm that. That's all it was. I didn't like the new uh, uh, independent motion. I made a motion to reaffirm what we've done because they keep talking about them temporarily. I mean, I've heard that I don't know how many times about it being temporary. It ain't temporarily. We've extended this contract, so I make a motion and second to real fun of that, and I call for a question. Well, that's fine. Nobody's arguing at that, Paul. I, I understand, but let's just vote then. That's fine. Thank you. We've got a motion and a second on the table. Any further discussion? And I guess I'll roll on that one. John Benson? Yes. Paul Simpson? Yes. Edward Smith? Yes. John Smith? Yes. Chris Tull? Yes. Bobby Harris? Well, that was interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's all the business for tonight. Yeah. Wait, 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 Mr. Mayor, we left out one thing. We had something on the workshop agenda for uh, the dogs in the uh, park. city park day, and we did not cover that tonight. Okay, you can go ahead and cover that. I thought we did I just thought it was overlooked. <clears throat> no, I just I, uh, uh, I realized that. Uh, we, we had brought up a motion to give uh, some money to that or dollars in the park for yeah. doing fifty bucks spade and neutering um suffering for the community. Well if you go ahead and make that motion and I mean we just I believe we all did we not all agree. I don't I I I missed something I didn't hear. What is this exactly for it? Is it a show for show? He wasn't here he wasn't here civil with, civil uh, give us more on that. It so, it is it is a dog show. They do. They have, uh, I think, concession stands. They have activities for the kids and activities for the animals. Uh, it's, it's to raise money for the the shelters and all. And they're, you know, it's just kind of an awareness day in the park. And this this money is it helps uh, I spay and neuter. Well. Yeah, spay, yeah, the spay, spay and neuter program. Uh, for my pets, uh, owners sponsored. What we discussed in our workshop yesterday was $250. I make that motion. Is it? Did you you make that motion? Yes. Yeah. 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 Any further discussion? Paul, second or April. Paul, Paul. Paul. I'm And if you call the roll on that. John Benson? Yes. Paul Benson? Yes. Edward Smith? Yeah. John Smith, yes. Chris Hill, yes. Motion carries. Well, I guess that's the. Oh, can I quick say, sure. Actually, I canceled my cable about six months ago, so I love you guys. This is good. <laughs> um, this whole sitting, Richie, I, he actually called my name. I didn't know he remembered me. Why well, first flew into this town in '86? He's the only person with injury. I have. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got that. Now. The only concerns I have is you working as a government, better than our real government. And I want to see you guys get along, but I want to see you today. But I, I like seeing you guys work together in, in a professional environment and, and try to accomplish something because looking at alternative costs shouldn't offend Richie because I, I, I believe he's going to do a good job. But we should always, always be looking at alternatives because um, we're, we're fortunate in this city. I, we do have a surplus in cash, and I think, personally, we're going to see some hard times coming up on us. And I do think, thanks to you guys, and the victory and the fight is good, but to a certain level. 
I just love to see you guys work as a group. I just want to say I appreciate you. Because most people, especially you aldermen, you're not up there for the fun of it. It sure ain't for the money. There's a reason that you set up here and decided to support this town. So keep up the good work. And uh, I, I did put in a, a letter in the newspaper. I don't want anyone to be offended. I just want you to work together and do what's best for the citizens, as Chris said. And uh, I appreciate you. Well, thank you, Ron. And I think that's the intent of everybody up here. I mean, we're. You know, I, I agree. You know, we don't uh, we don't have any ulterior motives. Well, it, it, to add to that, sometimes when we sometimes when we don't understand what's going on. For example, in this situation, what I was doing a working session. Uh, I do know this started in February because that's the last time I was able to come. And it's, it, it, we started in February and it was still going on. But Richie brought up some very good points. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear any of those on the tapes I got to watch. So if you have an alternative person, let's say this comes up in, uh, what would we say, August? In your working session, have these details, have the people that you're going to, and you guys would learn from this. So and you won't drag it out for. Six or seven months. I think the more educated we are, the better off we are. Yeah, and let's say the insurance is not that's complicated. I have to go through it once a year with my company. I'm, I said, I'm Blue Cross Blue Shield right now. What stigma? I think I actually touched on all of them, but uh, and it educates me too. But thank you, thank, thank you, Carl. Yes, I'd like to speak if I could. You sure can. Hi, Riley Brown. I live out on Higgin Bottom Lane, five days and the city limits. I've lived there for over 40 years. I've got a neighbor that moved in earlier this year, and I've had trouble with her. She has called a city building inspector on me 15 or 20 times. I was there when the city cut me in, so I'm grandfathered in a lot of it. So I've complied with everything I'm supposed to do. According to him, he'll, he'll back me up. Now, Later on, when it gets cool weather, and I build a fire down there in my building. I've got a, a heater and a wood flue commercial. When she starts calling the fire chief, what rights do I have? Now, she's going to be on me. No, like, what, what kind of fire are you building? Is it in a, in a stove? Yeah, in a, in a wood stove, commercial. Well, I don't know. I don't know what she could call the fire chief. Well, she's she, she, she 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 does not burn processed wood as long as he burns rough cut lumber. Oh, but now any processed. Well, well, I'm not going to burn that. I wouldn't burn that. Or any natural tree to. Uh, yeah. But what I'm saying, she has got it in for me. She has told my other neighbors that if she can't get me one way, she'll get me another. She fuss about me mowing my yard and my garden in front of my shop. So she seeks to start either on the police department or the fire department. Anybody she can get me on. And I want to know what are my rights to me. You don't I don't have to say it. You don't get rid of your tomato. No, I didn't get rid of the tomato. I didn't get rid of the tomato. I didn't get rid of the tomato. As long as you burn natural wood, when she calls me, I'll come out and I'll double check it and I'll tell her. There's nothing we can do. You're not violating any city ordinance or any law. Yeah. All right. Well, I'd say, um, all this started when they started moving in. They parked a truck down there, man. It was helping her move in down there in my lower driveway and blocked me out. And I started down there and I tooted my horn and they wouldn't move. And I had to go down around my garden to get in there to my building down there. And then in about 15, 20 minutes, here come a man and then I just jumped up and down and throw in a fit. And I was nice. I didn't knock him in the head, which I probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> I let him slide. I let him slide. You know, I missed him. I told him, I said, all you had to do was walk up to my house and tell me you wanted to b b park in my driveway or call me on the telephone. And he told me that morning she ain't going to never have a degree she you. She's going to make your life a living well, you can imagine. And she has so far to that point. Any far issue, I will take care of. Any law enforcement issue, they will take care of it. I appreciate it, but like I say, I don't know what to do. I've done everything I can't afford. <laughs> Mr. Ripple, I know she called him twice a day. She got him on speed dial. <laughs> 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 It's green, boy. We'll be sure to protect your rights. Well, I appreciate it. Like I say, I don't know what else to do, you know. know you try to get along. I don't even know the woman's name. Yeah. But like I say, she's not a real woman. 
she you had two yard sales since you've been there, and they blocked my driveway, and I'd ask them to move. And they wouldn't, sometimes they wouldn't, but I didn't call them. the police department. But now next time when she does that, I'm going to call down the police department and ask them to come move in cars. And, and Mr. You Brown, be your man. he's been very helpful with, you know, anything that he might need to do to conform with a mm -hmm. city ordinance. He's been more than helpful in doing it. And he's a shining example of a good citizen. <laughs> and we thank you for that. Well, I appreciate it. We'll try to make sure that you're not unduly harassed. Well, I appreciate it. It's over you. It's close. It's close. Anybody else want to address the board? If not, we'll call this meeting adjourned. Thank y'all. Thank you. 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 Uh, 